what's going on. It's Matt Series Weekly. Whoa! I did that. Do it again, do it again. Another delicious intro to Mass and Joe's Weekly Word, episode 85, Nevos. 85 are the best, mate. Both wearing white today, mate. Check it. Well, I got the, I got the no. long sleeve. Dope Bump. as f Just in time for autumn. Today being the second of, uh, well, when Please. you guys will see this, it'll be early March. Let's just say it's, it's early autumn. Seasons oh, are changing, where, where the the f is, Did we even get a summer this year? I don't think we did, eh? Just Well, gone. It wasn't much hot weather. Oh, it was a bit hot weather, but yeah. I didn't get to the beach as much as I would like. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Topics of discussion, neat. Back in stock, new products coming soon, monthly special, hit versus this article. Arnold Classic Expo, third piece of info. Uh, Australian Supplement Awards, DLB appearance, ask Neve. Jam-packed episode of Massages Weekly Word and we got a shitload of questions and they're all good too. Yeah. I don't know how the f we're going to select the top 10 out of them bitches. Well, you already have, so you've done it. So no, actually, right. I haven't. If you have a look here, I've actually selected 18 Ooh. that I think are, uh, that are right, worthy let's of, 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 of... Let's go through of, the shit bit that nobody actually All watches. right, well, before we get through to the shit bit... How's it looking this week, big boy? No, it needs, it needs shaving, mate. This side is looking good, right? This side is... It's like there's, it's too, there's too much hair now, man. It's too much. You know what I'm saying? It's the I need to have a sit down, have a DNM with. I just want to let the what the f we're doing with this shit, man. I just want to let the viewers at home. I will be. I will just point out that I'm not going to make any rash decisions until after the Arnold because I do want to rock the penis to pay for the Arnold and the Gains tour. Well, the people have to see it in the flesh. They have to. And you're going to eat it up, aren't you? Oh. I am. All right. <laughs> but you know what sucks is that in my contract with Massive Joe's, yes, yeah. we do have contracts. Yeah. I'm not allowed to shave my head. That's correct. In my, you've personally written in there. Correct. Steve cannot shave his head. That is correct. Because he looks like a thug. That is correct. But you can wear a dick on your head. A poopay on your dick. <laughs> Try whatever, again? Whatever it is. I don't know. <laughs> First topic of discussion, Nick. Back in stock. So, um... It's still your mother set is backed by Isatori pre workout CT, CT, CT Fletcher. Isatori. Still your mother set. Back in stock in all flavours. The strength based pre workout. All four flavours. Yep. OptiBurn Amped. Back in stock, all uh, three flavours. Yep. The uh, lemon lime, the watermelon, and the uh, peach. Yep. Uh, Core beat alanine. Boom! Finally back in the house! Which means all the core beta alanine related stacks are back in as well. So the stim free stack with core pump and then the uh, the endurance stack with core fury also both back in. Yep. Uh, where are we up to? Good segue. Core pump. Pump. Core pump. Core back. Also. In the house. Also, I just want to let the viewers at home know that it's bigger in, tubs. It's in a larger tub, so it's in the core bigger, fury size tub. Bigger tubs. Um, and it also doesn't clump, so any non-clumping yeah. formula because it did tend to yeah. clump a little bit. I mean, it, it didn't affect the uh, the product at all. No. Let's get that straight. Correct. From the beginning. Correct. Uh, but it doesn't clump now, which a lot of people sent me emails about. And, and I will. Can I also let the viewers at home? Of know, course you can, mate. Go for because it. Because this is my chance to speak to the viewers. Yes. But when somebody orders Core Fury V2 on the website, yeah, and you get your tub sent to you in a box, yes, and it says Core Fury on it, doesn't mean that we've sent you the wrong product. Yes, the tub doesn't actually say V2. We no. just put V2 so that the viewers at home, when they're on the Master's website making a purchase, know that it's the second version that doesn't have AM Citrate in it. Correct. So when you get your product please stop emailing me saying that we've sent you the wrong product and i will also point out just on the topic of uh, core pump just to just back back it up a second i just want to let people viewers at home know i've just yeah, saved i've to. just saved half hour of, of every day no you have 100 uh, percent uh pineapple strawberry back in stock green apple pump still out of stock with no eta yeah because core don't have an eta so What's wrong? That's what's have, up. They've, they've, Next topic of they, they ran the out. They they no, they left on the tree they, out the back they of squeezed course. all the apples. It's been winter up in Virginia. Well, Doug's using 
Blue apples. Doug's used the juice for something else, hasn't <laughs> <laughs> Next topic of discussion. Uh, so new products. We've got yep. uh, Corburn Ultra. Boom! The new, the new Corburn. Uh, now available in a raspberry lemonade. We're actually going to call it Corburn Ultra V2. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. It's just called Corburn Ultra. Because the flavours are different. Yeah. It's raspberry it's really lemonade good. and it's a mango. Yeah. Um, so uh, yeah. Both in stock, both available now, massivejoes.com. The official launch uh, will probably already have taken place by the time this goes live. It's on, it is live though, it's on the website. Yeah, yeah, you can go get that shit, man. And Amazing cool. product. Also cool. Tastes these. so good. The main difference between the new reformulated Corburn Ultra and the old Corburn is the flavor, hey? Because that, that original flavor was <laughs> just disgusting. Yeah, the new flavors, mango, raspberry lemonade. Mm-mm. Tastes like a <laughs> minji. And what did the old one? Yeah, yeah and the new one tastes like a. <laughs> <laughs> and what else we got? Probably, probably Pamela Anderson pre STD, I'd say. <laughs> what else? <laughs> <laughs> Moving right along. Before Tommy Lee <laughs> drop. Corzy! Um, also, finally available in Australia, man, once again. Live and available right now, raspberry lemonade flavor, of I'll course. I just see what they did there. I used that. We used that. We beat, we, we beta tested all these products back last year at the Olympia. We did. But I used Core Z for the first time since the Olympia last night. Woo! Good. I'm full of beans this morning, man. I got myself some good Z's, you know what I'm saying? I know what you're saying. Yeah. What else? Uh, one Up Nutrition. The, yes! Uh, Pre workout BC Blaze. Finally available. Massivejoes.com. Go get it. Links in the description box to uh, One Up Nutrition in particular. Yep. You can go check out their full product range. Next topic of discussion, Nick. All right, so coming soon, the women's performance training type. Finally, on their way, should be here in time for the Arnold. Mm -hmm. uh, MTS Way restock will be back, uh, will be like, should be Friday, Thursday, Friday. Yeah. Today's Wednesday. Late, late, so late, this, late this week, man. Late this week, yeah. All flavors, by the way. Oh, but Everything. The, the thing is, new flavors? Yeah. No, nah, not on this shit, man. Ooh. But restock of, of all 14 flavors. I just want to put something out How there, many though? flavors are there now? I don't know. I'm losing track. I just want to say something, though. All yeah. your favorites are back, like uh, peanut butter, fluff, chocolate, vanilla, cookies and cream, all the, all the top flavors. Banana, they're all back. Yep. All of them. Um, I just want to say as well is the Barnard, our, yeah. good, our good friend Barney Wong. Yeah. As soon as like MTS Way used to come in, Barney used to snap up like four tubs. Yeah. But. My little friend Barney, yeah, your big friend Barney, he's got tremendous calves on him. Massive calves. Um, he's gone to the core side. He has. He's gone like, to the dark side. He's hung. He's I hung. can't wait to see Barney explain that one to Lone Line on the yeah. games What's in front happen? of Doug Miller. Yeah. That that'll be funny. What else we got, man? And uh, MRP more more MRP. <laughs> Let's core, go with core MRP. Core MRP is uh, restocked at uh, around the Arnold time. No, actually at the Arnold. At the Arnold. Like, actually, it's being sent from Doug's house or the core <laughs> warehouse to the Arnold in Australia. Yeah. 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 Next topic of discussion, Nick. Uh, monthly specials. So Boom! big ray gun. <laughs> cutting specials V two. Cut the specials up right now, man. Them specials are clean! Alright, read them out, Joe. Nevos? I'm not gonna read them all out. They're on the screen. If yours are right, my favourite though, them. my favourite, yeah. if you can guess. Let me guess which one's your favourite. Buy two pro ATP science prototype. $99.95, get a free ATP t shirt. That's like buy one, get one half price. That's better than buy one, get one half price. Yeah. And a free shirt. Mm -hmm. That's but ridiculous. But $29.95. How are we even doing that special? Oh, crazy. That's another one of those 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 yeah, no, nah, not good. My, there's, there's some good ones in there. My personal favorite, I gotta say this month, buy two tubs MTS way, get a free Massive Joe's uh, TMJ Apparel MTS Militia hat for free. What do you buy? You buy two tubs of MTS way, which is fully restocked in all flavors. You get a free TMJ Apparel <coughs> MTS hat. The one that I wear like all the time. Yeah. Clean, yeah. Clean as shit. Yeah. There's some good specials this month, man. Make sure you take full advantage of them because they're, they're, they're they're good. They get better every month. Honestly, oh, like no. they do. People will still complain though. No, I don't think so. I think these are the best specials we've seen thus far. Nothing to be as shit as that store opening specials we did though. Yeah, anyway, link is in the description box to the full monthly special spread. Next topic of discussion, Neve. <sighs> Hit versus this article. Oh, boom. Jackass. <laughs> He's the real MVP, isn't he? He is the f he is he is on fire right now. 
This article is dope, man. Go check it out. It's, uh, it's an article on a high intensity interval training versus low intensity steady state cardio. <clears throat> so the, the, a bit of a 101 on the different types of cardio, the pros, the cons, and then goes into a discussion on which one's better for fat loss. Yeah. Which everyone wants to know. That, how often do you get that question? I always get that question, man. Which type of cardio is best for fat loss? I tend hit to, or lifts? Nobody tends to ask. Should me. I do hit or should I do lifts? Why does nobody ask me? No? Nope. I get that question all the time. Probably because they think I'm fat. Anyway, links in the description box. Go post, check it I'll out. I'll post for you my jocks this morning. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, it's a true story. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I had to check the, the progress on the physique quick. Yeah. Joey, and good. for Barney and everyone, yeah. Joe said my carbs have come up. Carbs have come up. Arms still need work. Arms need work. Front delts still growing and shouldn't be. <laughs> Too much pressing. Too dominant. Anyway. Next topic of discussion, Neve. Uh, Arnold Classic Expo third piece of info. Oh, hit him with the hit him with the goodness, Neve. So hit him with it. Uh, last year we had obviously just normal pricing for the subs at uh, the Arnold uh, Classic stand. Yeah, apart but, from the shirt yeah. giveaway, which we are running again this year, you would know keen viewers of Weekly World. We announced that last week the Vertigo mm. tee's gone off. Yeah, uh, this, this year. year we are going to be running uh, a few show specials. Yeah, exclusive show specials. We're not going to tell you what they are now, but you will find out about them at the Arnold. That will also be available online over the Arnold weekend at MassiveJoes.com for people that can't make it to the Arnold. Yeah. And I promise you, I right. haven't spoken to Joe about this, but I yeah. promise you, you won't be like, buy an MTS, get a free shaker. No, it, they'll fun. be epic That's specials. That's but they will be specifically on MTS, Core, HPN, and ATP, yeah. won't they? Yeah. They're not going to be across all brands, they're going to be across the brands that are going to be at the Arnold at the Massive Joe's Maker Boot. Yeah. Next topic of discussion, Nate. Uh, Australian Supplement Awards. So the Australian Supplement Awards voting is now finished. As, finished? Yeah, it finished. Closed. 29th of February. You actually we know that. who the winners are. Yeah. You had an extra day this year. Yeah. And uh, so if you didn't take full advantage of that, then yeah, too bad. Um, but you if do you have, did take full advantage of it and you got the special present, which was a coupon code from Massive Joe's. Sorry, if you should, you should have voted. Yeah, because if you, you, you got you got Ah, oh. don't tell him. Don't tell him. Don't tell him, Neve. Because I want to. Don't tell him, Neve. Don't tell him. Don't tell him, Neve. Okay. All uh, we're gonna say is you've got one. If you do have the code and you haven't yet used it, you've got one week left to use it. So go use that mother. Yeah. Next topic of discussion, Nick. Uh, DLB appearance. So, <laughs> Darnalyn Bailey and also Rob Bailey making an appearance in Massive Joe's Dernan Court here in Adelaide. Uh, Ray Gunn, throw the, throw, the, throw the poster on the screen right now, man. Throw that, because that poster is clean, man. That is a clean poster. Well, you're not going to see the poster. You're going to see like a, a video size of the poster. 22nd, it's clean. 22nd of March. Yep. Massive Joe's Dernan Court. Yep. 5 to 7 p.m. 6 to 8 p.m. Wrong times. <laughs> Doesn't matter. That's why I'm on time. Get there. To... Get there at five. I'd get there at three because, yeah, yeah. like, it's going to be as big as Ronnie Coleman like two years ago. I think it's going to be bigger. I'm expecting like 500 people. Well, we had 600 uh, Ronnie. Okay, well, it's not going to be quite as big as Big Ron. Remember, because we had 500 we, show bags. We, we got did. Rid of them. Yeah, we did. We did. We smashed. The out of it. Yeah. Anyway, link is in the description box for the full details. There's going to be two lines, a VIP line and a non-VIP line. VIP line would be for people who are there to support Rob and Daniel and Bailey and purchase some of their Run Everything Labs supplements and they'll get exclusive access to meet Rob and Daniel in. Non-VIP line is for people who don't want to support Rob and Daniel and just come for free autographs. So they may as well just like line up and stare through the window like yeah. <laughs> Link is in the description box, man. Full details uh, up in this bitch. Next topic of discussion, Neve. Ask me. All right, let's get to it, man. We got ourselves a lot of Ask Neve questions. I'm just, can we go rapid fire? Because I would actually want to get through as many of them as possible. Yeah. And there's well, like, there's a good 20 here that are, that are worthy. All right. Amar Nasri wants to know, hey guys, following you since 2014. Cheers uh, to you guys all the way from Dubai. I resumed my gym training about two or three months ago. I started at 100 kilos and now I'm 89. So he's cutting. Well, the, I have, let's just say the, the cutting specialist uh, Adil yeah. was just in uh, Dubai as well. Dubai? Wasn't he? No, Pakistan. No, he's going to Dubai first. What? Yeah, he's in Dubai for like five days. Really? Yeah. 
So uh, I've got some tips off him. I have plateaued and don't know what to do. I have been doing cardio at 6 a.m. three days a week and drinking at least three liters of water every day. Help me out. Also, I'm training to be a professional wrestler, so I want to know. No, that's two questions. One f-ing question. No, but he, he might. Nah, f- it. One question. We're rapid firing this bitch. No, but if he says something about John Cena, I'll answer it. No, nothing about John Cena. Okay, f- yeah. F- yeah, Amar. He wants to know what to do. He's plateaued. Well, you. As we've said before, when when you're dieting, yeah, uh, it comes down to two things: calories in versus calories out. Yep. So what you need to do is you either need to increase your expenditure. Yep. Which means you're only doing three days <coughs> of. Uh, Three days. No, you're doing three a cardio week. sessions a week. A That's week. nothing. I do so, more than that in my off season. Uh, I'm still doing like, yeah, I'm still doing three myself and I'm yeah. bulking. Yeah. So, um, yeah, you, you need to like increase, uh, probably obviously just without knowing what your diet's like. Yeah. Obviously you can increase your cardio right there straight away. Stra- that would be the most obvious thing I mean, to do. What you could do if you're doing three days a week, if you don't want to do any more days a week or you can't do more days a week, increase it from 30 minutes to 45 minutes. Um, I mean, yeah, you just need to make, increase, like, change the variables around. Obviously, the obviously the thing could be to chuck up the four days. Yeah. Now keep going. Increase it to four days, or the other thing is to drop your calories. Yeah. Do you not understand what rapid fire means? Oh yeah, sorry. Yep. Go okay. get. Jane, uh, Jim V wants to know. Hey guys, I was wondering what your view is on someone taking pro hormones. Like how old they should be when they start taking them and if there's a point of taking them while one is still a young adult, age 22. I've been hearing a lot of mixed reviews on recommended ages and I know I can go to you guys for good info. Thanks guys and stay massive. I mean, pro hormones are illegal. Yeah. So I don't condone the use of illegal substances. Correct. Also, at 22, you're still very young. Yes. If you are to use any substances such as pro-hormones or natural test boosters let's talk in hypothetical because i don't want to be giving advice to people on illegal substances no let's say swap the word pro-hormones for natural test boosters okay how old should you be to start taking natural test boosters i was 16. yeah too young too young too young i would have got i I walked around with a heart on 24 7. yep I was shooting rapid fire out of my dick. And not much, <laughs> not much has changed in the last ten years, big me. <laughs> the thing is, you like, you don't, you don't need it because your natural, your test numbers are naturally that high. Yeah. James Dyer wants so, to know. I'd say if you're gonna put a number on it to, uh, to like natural test boosters, 25. James Dyer wants to know. Hey fellas, in your in the gym live, you did strength based five three one training, and I was wondering how many sets of each you should do. I noticed you did multiple sets of three reps. Um, I mean, we'll generally do like a few warm sets. We'll maybe do it. it depends on what your max is, man. Yeah, man. Um, that's a big thing. I mean, if I'm, I'm, my max is around 170, 175 at the moment. Yeah. If your max is 100 kilos, I mean, you probably don't need a f- hit. Like, uh, it could be. I mean, it's different, obviously. But you know, it's what I'm all, it's here? all in the programming, man. It's a very specific. You, can, you can't give general guidelines on this shit. Yeah. It's all depends what weight, what your max is, how far away from your max, how warmed up you are, how easy the first set of three went up, whether you're putting the weight up and doing another set of three, or if you're going for doubles or singles. It's that, all in the program. That's what Joe. Uh, I mean, Joe has learned as well. And yeah. From me, to me telling Joe. Yeah. Is it, it, you have to play it. You don't. I mean, I don't sit there and plan it out like amount of sets, amount of reps. Yeah. We'll play it by ear. If Joe yeah. benches 120 real easy, yeah. we we'll might jump straight to 135, which is what we did this week. And, and went off yeah, like oh, a and bag got, of feathers. Went up baby. easy, got his PB. Yeah. I mean, if 120, if 120 was like stalling and stumbling and he struggled to get it, yeah. we wouldn't have gone straight to 135. No. So it, dep- it all depends on how you're going and how you're feeling. Lee Wash Rushworth Clays wants to know, hey guys, maybe this is a stupid question, but is there a time limit on drinking your BCAAs after mixing it? I only asked because I forgot to drink that bitch one day and it sat there for two to three hours, so I didn't chance it and threw it out. Two to three hours is fine. It's fine, man. Yeah. I, I don't know if there's a time limit on it. I usually, I don't leave it like, I, I drink it straight away, to be honest. Yeah. But if it's sitting there for, I, I would say, you know, if hours is no big deal. No. It, you probably wouldn't want it sitting like in the fridge, m- mixed up in water for f-ing like a week. Oh, even in two days. I wouldn't, or days. I wouldn't, I wouldn't leave it days. Yeah. I'd, I'd, I'd drink it that day, but three hours, man. That's, you no, just you, you, gains. you fine, man. You fine. Kim Dram wants to know, hey, Neve, just wanted to ask you a quick question. I'm sure everyone else is wondering as well, but could you please tell me what time is it? Oh, you even brought a 
Probably not any. It's Utopia time, baby. I just want to. Uh, this is actually a good segue. Yeah, it is. Yeah, have some. Because the thing is, I there's a lot of mis mis uh, misstrued. Is that a word? Misconstrued. Misconstrued. Yeah. Information. Yeah. I love Utopia. You're a big Utopia fan. Like, Utopia is probably my number one favorite product. But at you the know, you know what you hate at the moment. I hate you. What time is it? I. Okay, when you say that's what you hate, I hate because. You but you actually love Utopia time. I love Utopia. You I, just hate me announcing that yeah, it's Utopia time. No, because I time. think it's a great product. I love it, and it like focuses me at work. Okay, you guys, you guys at home, watch this video like once a week. Yeah. Oh, Joe did a funny voice. Try sitting next to the head <laughs> all day long, talking shit and doing that voice all day long. It drives me. Oh uh, shit. Yeah, it's great. Everyone laps it up, wants to suck your dick. But the thing is, man, when you have to put up with it every day, but we, f I see you at nine o'clock, and then we're together till nine o'clock that night. That's true. Six days a week with you hearing your voice. I don't want to f hear your voice anymore. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's why I hate Utopia Time because of the voice treatment. But you actually love, love Utopia the Time. Dev Bagani, my brother Dev, wants to know first and foremost. Good news on not needing surgery, big dog, and good luck for a quick recovery. My physio said my shoulders slumped forward due to weak lower traps and a tight chest. This is also f***ing up my bench press as the shoulder wings out when I try to go heavier. Of all the exercises you fellas know for shoulders and back, do any come to mind to help my situation? The, the top of my list would be face pulls. 100% because you're going to hit traps and rear delt. Yeah. And the main reason, well, you, your physio has told you the reason for your shoulders slumping forward is a tight chest and weak <clears> traps. So effectively, what you need to do is you need to reverse those, those forces that are pulling your shoulder forward. So you need to hit traps and you need to hit rear delts and pull them bitches back. But I've read, read a lot of articles on, um, yeah, as, as the posture, as, yeah. as cable face pulls being the number one exercise for... Uh, we did them last night. Correcting that posture. Yeah, so. yeah I love them. D. Benaz wants to know, any tips for building a bigger inner chest? Specifically focus on, focusing on getting better striations. My outer chest seems out of proportion with my inner chest, where I have difficulty getting a mind-muscle connection. Any tips? Thanks, guys. I mean, it, it, your chest is a big muscle, bro. You, you can't isolate. I don't believe you can isolate different portions of your chest. You, you can't. It's it would be it's the same as saying I want to isolate the upper part of my bicep. Yeah. Mm. So I mean, you can't you can't do it. The shape of your chest is genetic, man. The thing that you need to do. This is the thing. The things that you need to do is just make sure that you're getting a good squeeze and and put like a good squeeze and hold at the top of like cable flies or a, a good squeeze at the top of like incline flies or or fly. flies are what's going to I think. Getting that good squeeze on your on your inner chest. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you can't make your inner chest more muscly while making your outer chest less muscly. Yeah. You, you can't do that. Taylor Chung wants to know, hey fellas, been subscribing to your <clears throat> weekly word since the first episode. It's a long time subscriber. Thanks for all the motivation, entertainment, information, aka the knowledge bombs, which helped me lose weight from 103 kilos to 71 kilos, my man. I have a question today about wearing apparel. Do you think if a person who has lifted for more than for who has lifted for two years should wear apparel like wrist straps and lifting belts? Will they prevent an overall strength development in your forearm and core? Cheers from Adelaide. I think that anyone at any stage of their fitness career uh, and fitness uh, yeah. career, whatever. I'll the thing that. with with the, with this, you're not really talking about uh, uh, what we would call apparel. You're talking about like training equipment. The thing with, with, with any, sort, any sort of wrist wrap, lifting strap, probably not lifting strap, but wrist wrap, knee wrap, lifting belt, is it's about preventing injury. So you wanna use them when there's a chance of you injuring yourself, right? So you use your belt when you're doing heavy deadlifts, heavy squats, you use your wrist wraps when you're doing heavy presses, you use your knee wraps when you're doing heavy leg press or, or heavy squats, that's when you wanna use them. You don't wanna become reliant on these training aids because you're correct, that will hinder development of, of stabilizing muscles in particular around the, the areas of your body that you're using them. 
Um, and I, I want to also throw in there that, um, yeah, so it's not, I wouldn't put a time frame on it. It was like, oh, you have to be training two years before you can start using it. Or you have to be training six months before you can start using it. Yeah. But the other thing as well is don't overuse it. Correct. I mean, I see a lot of people using the wrist wraps a whole session. I'll see someone using the belt a whole session. I mean, it obviously depends on what your goal yeah. is. I know you, I know you coming into a comp, you use your belt a lot. A lot. But the thing is, is with wrist wraps, like if we're doing like four sets of 12 or something, or four sets of 10 to 12, we would not use wrist wraps. If something gets heavy and do like five, six reps, at a heavier weight is when we'll start putting wrist on. Anthony Simpson wants to know, hey guys, are there any side effects when taking a test booster for the first time, such as ATP Mars? Um, I don't, I don't see any side, negative side effects. No, uh, some people will get acne. I've seen yeah. acne with, with natural test in, boosters. Increase, increase testosterone levels. Yeah. I mean, testosterone can flare up acne, but I mean, it, it doesn't, I know some people get angry. Yeah. But, um, I mean, yeah, I, I'm, I've never had any side effects, luckily, touch wood. Yeah. Uh, Wes Hale, ace up my sleeve. Where does your himbine fit into the fat loss triangle? Well, your himbine's illegal in Australia. Yeah. So that's why it doesn't fit into the fat loss triangle. Yeah. But if it wasn't illegal, it would fit into the thermogenic part of the fat so loss it'd triangle. Be, it'd be like the American version of drop factor that has your himbine in it. Correct. Whereas in Australia, the drop factor doesn't have your himbine. This is a good question. Burning Patch wants to know, hey fellas, how do you get all your stock to the Arnold? I'm guessing one of you drives down in a van a few days before with all the stuff. We had this question last year. I think it's a repeat. He's I reckon he's, uh, he's trolling, he's isn't he? He's trolled it. He's trolled it. Because he knows the answer. And he knows how much that pissed us <laughs> off last year. <laughs> Do you even bother answering it? We get a semi-trailer to take the 15 pallets of shit. Frankie Gong wants to know, hey fellas, hope all is well and hope the lat's getting better, Lord Neve. <clears throat> I was wondering if a natural power lifter who, let's say for the sake of argument, is in the 220 class and can achieve a 2,000 pound total or better, as long as he remains injury free and continues to linearly progress during the training cycles. I know gains for a natty bodybuilder slow down over time and I wanted to know if this applies to strength as well. Um, I mean, strength will. Good question, Frankie. Strength will always slow down. Of course. Um, I mean, you're not going to get those initial newbie gains, or if as it's exactly the same as, as bodybuilding, man. You reach even you've said you've said natty bodybuilder, so I'm going to assume that you're talking about a natural powerlifter. But natty or not, whether or not you use drugs or not, there is a limit, mm. isn't there? Yeah. And that's why there's world records and shit that people can't break that have been around for a long time because the human body is only capable of so much. Let's just put it out there. Like, I mean, I, I, Facebook now does Facebook memories. Yeah. I don't know if you ever look at yours, but I looked at mine the other day. Yeah. Um, and three years ago, I was benching 160, got a single at 160, and you spotted me. Yeah. I mean, at the moment, I'm getting a single at 170. Yeah. Three years, I put 10 kilos on my bench. Yeah. I mean, obviously, I haven't actually trained as a powerlifter. I've never done a powerlifting cycle. Yeah. I mean, I, I go in the 531 rep range, but I'm not. I'm not following a proper palace since I could actually increase my bench press. Yeah. So the thing is, is yeah, I mean, obviously when I first started training, my bench shot up, I benched 100, 110, 120, probably over the months, as the months went by, yeah. then obviously it slowed down. But in three years, I put 10 kilos on my max bench. Yeah. So to answer your question, Frankie, yes, the gains do slow down. Yeah. Definitely. Three more questions. Uh, Mr. Ball Change wants to know, what's up, fellas? If you could take one body part, muscle group from each other, which would it be? I would say I'd get Joe's calves. I'd take Neve's chest. <coughs> that, was a lot, that was a lot. We didn't even have to think about that. No. We're admiring each other's body parts. I don't know. On the daily. Oh, on the big hose. I'd probably take the big hose. Simon Tyler wants to know, hey guys, big fans of the show. This is a question for both of you. How come Swole didn't tell you he was on The Simpsons? Apparently that looks like Swole bait. No, the face is too square for Swole. I can tell you straight up it's not Swole because the guy's got hair. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it looks more like Joe actually with the, with the hair. I don't have the flat top going on, but you know what I'm saying? It's a square. J JB is a good looking rooster. Mate, he is. He's a, he's, a, he's a, you know what the funny thing is? His uh, new daughter, Darcy, mm. looks like him, like flat out. Have you seen the photo though? You haven't seen no, her in I person. Don't know that, no. But I she's got like the same eyes and shit. Oh really? Yeah. Like a miniature JB. <laughs> Last question, Barney Ong. 
Mr. Athlete Neve Mills. Barney, I'm happy that you have caught on that Neve is actually an athlete. Yep. Surprised he hasn't worn the shirt in this episode of Weekly Words. I do have a singlet in there hanging up. I was uh, how it. will your warm-up approach before a deadlift change going forward after having your recent injury, the ruptured lat? Yep. I think it would be useful to know so other people don't suffer the same nasty injury. Not that every other person is lifting as much as the big Neve, of course. <coughs> Alright. Oh! Have we done weekly words since I did my lap? Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, oh, so I'll tell you what happened for the viewers at home and also. Yeah. yeah. And also Fill them in. Fill them in. Is. <coughs> I was. <coughs> something in my throat today. Yeah. Um, <coughs> Nasty. So, we were training at World Gym and yeah. I was training. You weren't here. No. But I was training with a. Two I was in Perth. I was training with two reps from a certain uh, supplement distributor. Yeah. Also with J, uh, Josh Blake. Yep. Jo Boss, Boss Josh. Josh. Josh V1, who's yep. the warehouse manager, sends yep. out your orders. Top knot. So the four of us were all training back together. Mm -hmm. So the thing was, is we're obviously- I like story time with me, let me get comfortable. But the thing is, is in a, in a traditional business meeting in the gym, mm. which is where we generally have our business meetings because everyone in the most, in, most people in the industry live weights. Mm. But the thing is, is when there's four of us, it obviously slows down the rest periods. Yeah. Couple of that with talking about how's business, new products, what can we do to increase sales, et cetera, et cetera, as you talk about with companies. Yeah. The rest breaks went out to nearly like five minutes. Yeah. So I cooled down way too much. The other factor was that I'd trained rear delts. I trained delts with Joe on Thursday night, trained shoulders with Skippy on Sunday, and then trained delts again with you uh, Tuesday. Yeah. So I did rear delts three times. Too in, much delts. In five days. So my rear delts are very tight. Yeah. Um, I hadn't stretched. So obviously without warming up properly, too long between rest breaks and my rear delt being overused, yeah. when I've gone to deadlift, that's why it's gone twang. Yeah. So that's the reason why it's gone. Um, yeah, I mean, next time obviously warm up a lot more, but now I'm rubbing, making sure I rub prototype, a lot more prototype 8 in. Yeah, yeah. Get the blood flow going, mate. How do you reach your I, don't, I, don't I can reach my lap, but I can't reach my, my back. I don't, Bro, I don't the, 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 the one day I don't use prototype, I don't use prototype eight for legs because I don't need no more pump on leg day. Yeah. And I don't use it on back because I can't reach. I used it once on back and I got something to rub it in and I can't remember who it was that rubbed it in. Yeah. <coughs> it was one so of anyway, three, back to Barney's good. question. <coughs> my throat. You're really struggling <coughs> today, aren't you? Yeah. In, in future, I mean, yeah, I just have to take less rest periods. Yeah and actually warm up properly and yeah, just not let myself cool down. Here's the take home note from this is don't go trying to pull a deadlift PB uh, when you're not actually properly training. And I wasn't, I wasn't in the zone. You I weren't. Wasn't, I wasn't thinking You were talking thing. shit to the fellas. Yeah. You were resting 10 minutes between working sets and yeah. then decided to pull 300. I pulled 280, but I locked it out. It I'm up. not surprised you locked it out and in the meantime ruptured a flat. Yeah, and tore a tricep. Congratulations. And tore the tricep. And tore the tricep. Big Nevos! Do you have anything else you'd like to add? No. Before I tell the viewers to hit the subscribe button. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, man. It's up to date with all the latest editions of Massive Joe's Weekly Word and all the other deliciousness in our YouTube channel. Big Neve, where are we coming to and from, baby? MassiveJoe's.com.